Every day in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, millions of people go about their daily business. Some families have cars. Many more ride buses to work or to school. Buses are the common denominator of the people, old and young, men and women, laborers and office workers, black, white, and every shade of brown. People wait for a bus that has the correct number to take them to their destination. Sometimes the bus comes quickly and one must run to catch it before it pulls away. More often, the bus does not stop, or it turns out to be the wrong bus. Finding the right bus can be a long, difficult process requiring much patience. An American friend got on the wrong bus once on a rainy day, thinking it would take her to a certain neighborhood. It had the right name on the front, but a different number than the one she usually rode. It was going in the right general direction, but it did not go down the right street. By the time she realized her mistake, she had gone several miles out of her way and was in an unfamiliar neighborhood. A kind man who knew the bus route helped her and waited with her in the rain to be sure she found her way back. She learned a valuable lesson about bus numbers that day. Buses in Rio are often crowded. After what is sometimes a long wait and a difficult entry, the rider must make his way through a small turnstile that only gives access to those who pay. The turnstile is narrow, making it very difficult to pass through, especially if one is carrying a heavy load. Once past the turnstile, riders may find themselves standing for the entire distance, which may involve over an hour of bumpy rides. Early in the morning, late at night, waiting, riding, waiting. All of these people constantly in motion. Going to work, going to school, buying groceries for the family, taking loved ones to the doctor or dentist, celebrating love, grieving for those who died, worrying about debts and responsibilities, laughing, crying, carrying loads of care. A few are already in the way of the Lord. Sadly, most are not. Like the man who helped my friend, Christians lift loads, give directions and assistance. They teach, worship, and serve. They shine the light of Jesus as they do whatever they can to point people to the Savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The marvelous news is that Jesus has provided the bus and paid the fare. There is no wait. The access is easy. But many people still haven't found the way that leads to life. Just as people patiently watch for the correct bus to take them where they need to go, they wait for someone to save them from the storms of life. Some are actively searching for a savior. Others, just as lost, still haven't met the one who can give their lives purpose and direction. Just as some get on the wrong bus, some have been misled and are headed down a religious path which does not lead to eternal life. They need someone to lead them in the right way. How long must they wait? You who are hearing this may never step foot in Brazil, but you can help. By sending messengers with God's word and equipping the Christians in Rio with a functional place to teach about the love of Christ, we can all have a part in spreading the good news and the way of eternal life to the citizens of Brazil. We need your continued help to reach more. We in Brazil have listened with concern and prayer to reports of the economic recession which has swept the U.S. We know some have lost jobs and many have lost savings. If your family has been greatly affected, we are very sorry. But most in the U.S., even in this difficult time, are still blessed with food and shelter, the necessities of life. We are thankful for reports that things are slowly beginning to improve. 
when we continue to allow our ever faithful God to use a portion of these blessings to share the gospel, the eternal destiny of many is changed, and the giver is blessed. If you are already helping us, we are deeply grateful. If you are not yet actively involved, please prayerfully consider making a regular contribution to the building fund for the church in Rio. It is not about real estate. It is about souls. Men and women who have no hope without the Lord Jesus. In order to continue reaching people, we simply must have the classrooms and worship space to do so. We are paying as we go, so every time you help us, you are actually taking part in the Lord's work in Rio de Janeiro. We praise God for your faithful support, and rest assured that Christians here in Rio are very grateful for your help. If you would like to share your blessings with us, you can send donations by check to our work fund at Midway Church of Christ in Hitchcock, Texas. Or you can set up a monthly bank draft on our behalf through Pleasant Valley Church of Christ in Little Rock, Arkansas. And above all, remember us in your prayers to the Father. Once again, thank you for your help in bringing hope in Christ to the people of Rio de Janeiro.